Hi everyone, so today I'm filming a little drugstore slash Ulta haul and I'm sorry that I haven't filmed a lot, like honestly time flies by, I really don't mean to like spread it out so much, like by four weeks, but like I'll look at my channel like like one time and like or like my like my video feed and it'll say like a week since last video, then I'll look like two days later it feels like and it'll be like two weeks, then three weeks, and then four weeks, so that's kind of how it happened. I'm not ignoring any, my channel on purpose. I really don't mean to, but I really miss filming, so I think I got this little spot set up for um, how I like to film. The lighting's really nice, so new spot. But yeah, let me just get started into my little drugstore haul. So we'll start with Walgreens. So I got the new CoverGirl foundation. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and Concealer. And there's also a powder, but I didn't really think I needed it. I mean, I didn't really need these two, but um, I'm still using up my Benefit Professional Powder, so I thought I'd just wait on that. And I'm in the shade 115, that foundation. It's a little bit lighter, but it does oxidize into, like, to match my chest and such. And then the concealer is really nice. It, like, when you um, take it out, it looks almost white, but um, it's a good match. And there's a shade lighter than this, so if you're super light, I think that would be perfect. And there's like a really good shade range too. I think there's about like 16 shades if I can remember. Um, so yeah, I think that's cool that they came out with it. It reminds me a lot of um, the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation so far. But I will have a review up probably tomorrow or if not the next day. I promise. Actually, no. Don't be sad. If, okay. I, I promise. I won't take it back. Oh, we're skipping. Keep dropping things. Then I also got two more uh, Revlon color bombs, and then, so this one is the one in Honey, and this is like one of the original ones, and Honey is just like this like peony kind of pink, like a honey kind of peony, I don't know, it's nice, I really like it so far. Um, I've always seen Leanne says wear this color, and I've always really liked it, I just never bought it, and they had a super, super good deal last week. So I pretty much paid like $4.99 for this. So that's awesome. Then I also got the um, Revlon Color Bomb, Color Burst Lacquer Bomb. And I have them, I have two of the matte bombs, and I really love that formula, but I really didn't think I was gonna like the lacquer bombs. So I just decided to pick one up since it, it was um, $4.99. And keep in mind they're usually $10, so that's like 50% off. So I got the one in 135 Provocateur, and it's like a warm, glossy red, and it's pigmented. Like, I felt like it wasn't going to be as pigmented as, like, the matte bombs, but let's see if you can see. I mean, that's just barely me, like, tapping it, and it's really nice. Um, um, I'll probably talk more about it uh, with my Hits and Misses video, but, I mean, uh, every single review is... They're not awful. They're not bad. Um, I haven't worn this yet, so I can't fully speak on it. But when you do wipe it away, there's still, like, shimmer. I don't know if it's good. the camera's going to pick it up. But there's still going to be shimmer behind. So that's the only thing I wouldn't like. But when you're wearing it, when I have put it on my lips, like, just to swatch it, I don't see the shimmer. So that's not, that's not, that's a good thing. So then I went to good old Ulta today. I went to go get my eyebrows done, and then I figure I was going to grab a couple of things I've been wanting to try, and then get my mom's uh, Mother's Day slash birthday present. So got that done. So the first thing I got was the Batiste uh, Sassy and Darling, the wild um, version. And um, I have the, the ugh, I hate saying the name so much, I can't even describe it. It's called Psst. And they sell it at the drugstore at Ulta. And I got that for free because if you went to Walgreens and you bought it, like, a couple months back, like, it was free. And you got, or you got a $4 register reward. It's just, it's a weird process if you don't know, like, Walgreens and stuff. But I, I've been using that, and it just, it doesn't work very well. Um, it, I feel like it's the same thing as the Trust Me Dry Shampoo. And for me, I honestly thought that was just making my hair even oilier than it looked to begin with, so hence why my hair is in this messy bun, because my hair looks so greasy. And a couple weeks ago, um, I bought a little Batiste dry shampoo at work because I left mine at home and my hair looked disgusting. And I got the little Batiste one, and it looked and my hair looked like it had almost been freshly washed. So 
I figure Matisse is the way to go, so I got the sassy and darling one because, I mean, I'm sassy and darling, so it's like we're twins, so. And it's so cute. It's a like cheetah print. How cute is that? Then I decided to pick up my mom's um, Mother's Day present, or birthday present, actually, and this is the Mali Perfect Prep Poreless Primer, and I've heard really good reviews about this. My mom um, has been talking about wanting a new um, primer, and that is specifically helps for pores. So I um, did a lot of research. Emily Noel likes this a lot. Um, Coffee Break with Danny really liked it. So I figured my mom would like it. So yeah, well, let me open it up. I'm not, I'm not gonna try to like really open it, but this is what it looks like. It looks super fancy and it has this really cute like pink, um, pink glass kind of thing. It's like the same packaging as the Revlon Color Stay Whip. So. That's nice, and I hope she likes it, and if she doesn't, I will let you know. Well, I'm sure she'll like it, like, that I gave it to her, but I just, I don't know how much, like, you know what I mean? I don't know if the product itself, I don't know. But I hope she likes it, because I think she will, so I will keep you updated. Then, my last three products are the NYX Butter Glasses, and I have heard so much about these, like, the, the, the past, like, year, and I still haven't picked one up. And then today I finally picked them up because I've been more into like glosses lately. And that's really weird. I'm not really a gloss person, but I just, I really like them, especially like the Alme uh, Liquid Lip Balm. I only have one shade, but I really like the formula. So then I got these and then I watched a bunch of swatch videos last night. I had to figure out which one I wanted, but I bought two for myself and I bought one for my mom. So the one I got for my mom is Creme Brulee and Creme Brulee is like this like, light pink color, light nude pink. Can't really tell too much, but that's what it looks like in the tube. And these smell like cake batter, which I love. And then I got cherry cheesecake, which it's orange, so I don't know why it's called cherry cheesecake. I feel like it, well, I guess if you mix them together, then it's like gonna turn orange. Here's what it looks like. I should've, I was gonna wear the, the I was gonna wear it for this video, but I didn't so there's that but the one I do have on right now is praline and praline is like this rosy brown kind of color and I'm wearing it right now and I think this would look amazing with my uh, Revlon rose velvet lipstick and my Jordana rock and rose lip liner because they're like so similar and I just I love like rosy brown colors like they're like my favorite shades next to red so I really think I'm going to enjoy this one. And it feels so nice on. Like, I mean, if I ever do a review, that kind of just ruined my whole view on it. But it feels really nice. It's not thin. It's a little bit thicker on the lips. But it doesn't feel sticky. Like, I feel like it should be sticky. But it, it's not. It's super creamy. It's really nice. I have to smell it again because it smells so good. But, yeah. Um, so that was just my quick little video. And I hope that kind of inspires you to buy something. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, you wanted to buy this, and now you know it exists. So, yeah, shopping ideas. Oh, yeah, okay, so I need to stop talking. So, thank you so much for watching, and leave any comments down below if you have any recommendations of stuff I should try at the drugstore, or Ulta, or Sephora, or any video ideas that you might have. And, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching.